the LG V20 user here and today I'm doing a video about the Sprint T-Mobile merger guys so I'm on burnermoon.com here and it says here Peace Mobile, Metro P says and Red Mobile will also buy T-Mobile Sprint merger so uh, that is good news there if you guys are on those free paid services so as you guys know Sprint and T-Mobile are on um, merging uh, pending uh, approval from the uh, a pending approval or whatever uh, the uh, merger could you know fall and not go through but you know if the, if, if the merger does go through guys these PBA carriers will be safe so uh, yeah I'm interested to see how these PBA carriers will do when the merger is complete and all that good stuff or whatever so we'll see how that plays out so the last to check this out alright guys so um yeah it says although Analysts are saying that regulatory approval for the T-Mobile Sprint merger is now more is now much more likely. The two companies still have a long way to go before the approval is officially granted. And today, or yesterday, rather, in response to that, in in response to the FCC's latest questions, T-Mobile made one pretty big promise. So T-Mobile, T-Mobile is promising this, all right. So we'll see if T-Mobile uh, uh, fulfilled its promise and keep it. it. Says following concerns surrounding the future of the multiple prepaid brands that belong to both T-Mobile and Sprint, executives of the former promised that no prepaid companies would be eliminated once the, once the deal is complete. So, this prepaid case I mentioned, those will be safe after the merger. This means that Metro PCS, Boost, and Virgin will continue to exist. Additionally, suggesting that no mergers would happen between them either, it was stated that each brand caters towards a different type of customer. So, uh, when these, when the merger does a complete or if it does if it does um, uh, if it does get uh, approval to merge to mobile and sprint uh, you no know, these prepaid carriers will remain will remain all one it, it, um, it will remain all different companies it's not gonna be all merged in one company because each uh, each prepaid carrier caters to a different uh, consumer on uh, a uh, different consumer like um, you know, much PCS they could they cater to like uh, the Latino uh, community and all that. Boost does some as well. You know, I'm talking about like ethnicities and demographics and all that stuff or whatever. And Virgin, um, they were they were um they were um catering to the iPhone only crowd until recently when the um the inner circle thing blew up in their face and now they're walking them back and we use on Virgin Mobile. So uh I guess you know it depends on what carrier that you want. I mean they all offer pretty much the same plans pretty much. Uh Boost and Metro PCS they offer friendly plans. Virgin does not uh, Resmo plans are they're they're okay. Uh, they're okay, you know. They're not like oh my god, let me get this and shit. Uh, Boost and Metro they have hotspot included in their plans. Reds and you you have to pay extra for hotspot. Uh, Boost and uh, Metro PCS you have to pay activation fees and all that shit. And Metro PCS they have a whole lot of fucking fees, man. They have activation fees. They have Burn switching fees, change the number fee. Uh, God, they have some. They have a whole bunch of fees on Metro PCS. It's like a lot of. It's a. It's a big list of fees on Metro PCS. Boost Mobile has an activation fee, a reactivation fee, of course, and upgrade fee. So does Metro PCS. Version, I don't know if they have an activation fee. I'm sure they do. Uh, whatever fees that Boost Mobile has, I'm sure Virgin Mobile has the same thing because Boost and Virgin are pretty much on Sprint's, uh, on Sprint's towers or whatever, so I'm sure whatever fees that Boost has, Virgin Mobile has the same thing. Um, 
so I guess each prepaid carry they cater to a different uh, different type of consumer Virgin Mobile I guess is like towards like the younger crowd you know like the teenagers and shit I guess they were they, they were catering to all uh, to the iPhone users there for about a year and then recently Virgin Mobile um recently uh, welcome back Android users so that's good news for if there's a, you, you want to go to Virgin Mobile and that one Android phones so that's good on that part so each prepaid carrier offers different plans different phones and it depends on the it depends on the customer though it depends on the customer though like I said Mr. PCS it's like a uh, they cater to like the uh, the yeah they it, it they'll, uh, they'll get all types of people at Metro PCS all these companies they get all different backgrounds on their carriers you know Metro PCS Latin you know all these every carrier prepaid and prepaid has different um has different uh, backgrounds on their carriers you know it's not just one background it's all different backgrounds on, on every carrier in the U.S. or whatever so that's pretty much yeah, you know it's not like just catered dedicated to l l Latinos and whatever it's every background on every carrier or whatever so depends on what the customer wants basically uh, Metro PCS they have good plans um, their fit their fit plan sucks ass so you, 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 you don't get no hotspot uh, you get 40p video the boost plan the bit the boost mobile plan 40 uh, the boost mobile fit dollar plan you get hotspot included 8 gigs and it's capped uh, 40p video on the Metro PCS $60 plan they throttle your hotspot to 10 gigs boost they cap your hotspot doesn't, don't, doesn't matter how much hotspot you get they cap your hotspot no matter what uh, the only way to get more hotspot is to restart your plan and Virgin Mobile you guys have to pay extra for hotspot and it's not worth getting hotspot on Virgin Mobile Fox 5 will not work on Virgin Mobile because I tried it and it does not work uh, you, you guys can try Fox 5 if it works now I tried Fox 5 a few years ago when I had Virgin and it did not work for me and if you guys try to if you guys try to do Fox Fight on Virgin Mobile, get the free version of Fox Fight first just to see if it works. I doubt it works because the Virgin Mobile they want you to pay for Hotspot, which is like uh, three dollars for 500 megabytes, five dollars for one gig, ten dollars for two gigabytes of mobile Hotspot data on Virgin. Uh, you do have to pay extra for that. Uh, it's not worth it. So yeah. It says on a related topic, T-Mobile has also reinsured that. T-Mobile has also reinsured FCC that the new T-Mobile of what this new might just want to be called the new carrier called new T-Mobile and so um yeah that's what's gonna be called that's what uh, that's what that's what it's gonna be called for like for a while now so it's gonna be called new T-Mobile if this merger does go through uh, will continue to encourage the NBN those to use its newly expanded network even as the switch over to 5G commits by offering them attractive deals. This comes shortly after multiple companies spoke out against the merger, including Dish Network, C Spire, and All Tice or whatever the A word is. I'm not sure what All Tice is. I know Dish Network is a cable or satellite provider. C Spire, I think, is a uh, cell phone carrier, I think. Uh, the latter is a cable company that plans on launching in the says the latter is an is a cable company plan on launching an MVNA using sprint network. So this Altice or Altice thing is a uh, cable provider. I did not know that. I guess it's like available in certain areas. I did not know that. I never heard of it. Uh, they're gonna be offering a uh, uh, they're gonna offer cell phone specific. They will be offering cell phone service underneath the Sprint uh, tower, so that's pretty good for them, I guess. You know, so aside from the focus on wireless service, T-Mobile executives also expect the merger to allow the combined company to offer much cheaper in-house broadband packages in over half of the U.S. Something that will open up service to many users for the first time. Ultimately, despite fears of price hikes, because you know. Uh, there's fears that uh, if this merger does go through, they're gonna be for fucking price hikes like a bitch. As you guys know, 5G 
it's gonna be a, a bit more expensive because you know each generation gets more trade gets more expensive 3g was cheap as fuck 4g it was a little bit more expensive and 5g might be a, a little bit more expensive than 4g it is what it is guys you guys are not you guys will not get 5g service for 25 bucks a month you, you, you're not gonna get that you're not uh you, you're not gonna get 5g service for 25 dollars a month on prepaid you're not no so get that out your head now uh it says the promise from T-Mobile and Sprint are pointing towards a completely opposite scenario that looks set to create even more competition in the wireless sector, something that will only benefit U.S. Con con consumers. So, yeah, um, you know, uh, when this merger does go through, it's been called New T-Mobile, of course. As you guys probably know, I've been in it for a while now. Um, these prepaid carriers will survive. Boost Mobile, Metro PCS, Virgin Mobile, they'll all survive the merger. Uh, and when this merger does go through and it's complete and everything, they're all, I guess they're going to be all going to remain the same. They're not going to be merged into one. They're not. So it's so for Boost and Virgin and Sprint, they're, they're on CDMA, you know. They're going to have to transition to just um, like Cricket did when AT&T bought them out back in 2013. They're going to convert to GSM, and everyone on everyone on the uh, Sprint side will all have to buy new phones. Then they will have to, because you're not, because I say that you guys have a Galaxy S9 right now on on Boost and Virgin. Uh, that's not gonna work in T-Mobile. That that's not gonna work because it's the uh, the bank the frequency the. Uh, the bands or whatever is CDMA, you're not gonna be able to, to put that shit on team over you're not. So when this merger does complete, if it does get approval and everything else, uh, everyone on Boost, Sprint and Virgin, they will have to buy new phones. They will have to. Bet your PCS, you wanted to buy new phones because obviously Bet your PCS is GSM. They're under the T Mobile umbrella anyway, so I'm curious to see how all this I'm so basically, you know, T-Mobile, they have a few envy in those. They got uh, T-Mobile Prepaid, they got Metro PCS, Simple Mobile, Walmart Family Mobile, uh, um, God damn, uh, they got, uh, they, yeah, they, yeah, they got, uh, they got a few envy in those T-Mobile. Sprint, they got a fucking lot. They got Boost Mobile, Virgin Mobile, Sprint Prepaid, Sprint 4, or whatever fucking it's called on the Sprint Prepaid side of things. They got that, they got Ting, they got Freedom Pop, they got Unreal Mobile, they got. Uh. Fuck, they got this, uh, this cable company called, uh, Altice or whatever fuck it's called. So they, so Sprint has a lot of, um, they got a lot of carriers on their network. So they got a lot of MVNs on the Sprint network. They got a lot. I don't know if the smart I don't know if the smart MVNs will survive the merger. I don't know. I don't know about that, but I know that the major ones, Boost, Betcha PCS, and Verizon, they will survive. I know they will, cause you know they're the major ones under the uh, perspective of uh, carriers like. Metro PCS is the big one for T-Mobile. Boost and Virgin is the big one for Sprint. And like I said, guys, if you guys are on Sprint, Boost and Virgin, you guys will have to buy a brand new phone because you guys will have to convert to GSM. So do keep that in mind. So it's pretty much the same thing when Cricket got bought out by AT&T and everyone on Cricket had to buy a new, uh, had to buy a new phone. It's pretty much the same thing. So I wonder what's gonna happen to all the Sprint stores and stuff like that, the Beast Mobile stores. Uh, Virgin Mobile, they they don't have their stores. They uh, they use Beast Mobile stores. They use Beast Mobile stores. They use like you know they use the they use the Beast Mobile stores. Even though it says Beast Mobile on the uh, on the front of it, they sell Virgin Mobile friends as well. So there you go. So I don't know what's gonna happen to all the Sprint and Beast Mobile stores. I don't know. That, I don't know if they're gonna get shut down. I don't know what's happening to all the fucking stores though. I have no idea. I don't know how this is all gonna play out. We just have to wait and see, guys. But um, 
there are fears about price hikes when the shit gets gets done because I mean, five G is 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 everyone. Everyone wants five G. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wants five G. Five G is not available just yet, guys. We guys get the Moto Z3 from Verizon. You guys can get a five G Moto mod, and and that will be able to work when five G is available on Verizon. Just saying. So, um, everybody wants five G. Everyone wants. 5G, 5G is the new is the new thing right now. 5G is what everybody wants. When uh, when 4G came out, everyone wanted 4G. WiMAX fucking sucked. WiMAX was only available in certain areas of Sprint. If you guys remember WiMAX from Sprint, it was terrible. I never experienced WiMAX because I never had a, a WiMAX phone. I wanted that goddamn Evo V 4G from Virgin. I never got it, so I never really experienced all uh, WiMAX on Sprint, but. The WiMAX coverage on Sprint was terrible, and then they switched to LTE, and everyone wanted LTE, and everyone wants LTE, and everyone wants like the fastest data possible. But it also depends on the area and stuff like that, and what phone you have. You guys, if you guys have an LTE phone, which everyone does have in 2018. So I'm curious to see how I'm curious to see how I'm, I'm curious to see how this is all gonna play out when it's all said and done, if it does get approved and stuff like that. Um, and it did say that Timo promises that these um, paper cares will survive the merger and boost which piece has some version. They're not gonna combine the one. They're not gonna combine all in one paper. No, they're not. They're gonna remain the same. And like I said, you guys are gonna boost Sprint and version. You guys want to buy new phones because Timo is GSM and Sprint's one GSM. You guys have a Galaxy S9 right now on boost. You guys do have a SIM card. But that's not a SIM card that you guys can put like any put in any phone. That's SIM card on your base mobile phone. That SIM card is for your um data only. So that's not like a SIM card that that you can put into a T Mobile phone because it will not work. So to keep that in mind, so you guys want to buy a new phone, if you guys on the Sprint, boost and Virgin. Um, but it is with this guys. Uh, C M A. I mean, I, I like GSM a lot though, because you dial guys can switch out some cards anytime you want to switch out some cards and put them in any phone. And think about that on the Sprint, and I mean, think about it on the, uh, think about it on the Sprint, Boost, and Virgin mobile side of things. And when this is all gets completed and everything, you, you, you guys will be able to use any unlocked phone you want. On Sprint Boost and Virgin. Right now, they're bring their own, uh, bring their own thing on on Sprint. It's terrible. You did um, Sprint is striking what phones can be used on Boost. Virgin Mobile. I don't know what the fuck their thing is. I don't. Um, y'all guys with that uh, as Verizon about if you guys can bring a certain online phone to their services, but um. I'm sure whatever online friends can be used in Boost, I'm sure that can be used in Virgin, I'm sure, but you guys would have to have a Virgin first. Because Boost Mobile has a list of friends that you can use on their towers, that you can use on their service, that you guys need to buy a special SIM card for it. Um, so I'm curious to see of how this merge is going to affect. Um, you know, it's going to affect. Um, it's going to affect Sprint, Boost, and Virgin the most because they have to transition over to GSM. They have to buy new phones and stuff like that. So they're going to have to, um, they're, they're, they're going to be one, uh, getting out their wallets and buying new phones because that's just how it is. You know, um, and that's what it is, guys. You guys want to buy new phones. <clears throat> so when like like the you know the new fans are about the guys are about the you know, users on their services there. But like I said, you guys want to be able to bring your Galaxy S9 over to T-Mobile if you guys are on a Sprint piece of version because it will not work because it's CDMA and T-Mobile is just um and those two don't work together. If you guys buy an unlike uh, Galaxy S9 that supports both CDMA and GSM. 
that's great you know that's great you know um, but Sprint has a strict uh, phone policy they do their fucking shit is strict as hell their shit, their shit is strict um, I'm curious to see about their unlocking policies on uh, when this merger does become official if it does because right now it's Boost and Virgin, you have to wait one year to unlock your phone on Boost and Virgin. Which PCS is six months now. It was 30 days now, it's six months to unlock your phone. I wonder if this process will carry over into the new T Mobile. I wonder if this process will carry over. We will have to wait and see. We will we'll have to wait and see if there's like any plan changes or price hikes or anything like that. So, uh, do you guys think that uh, Boost Mobile, which PCS and Virgin will survive the um? Team of a Sprint merger? Yes, no. What are your guys' thoughts about this? And, uh, yeah, Team of promises that these uh, carriers will survive the um, merger. Team of promised that. So we'll see if Team of holds up on the promise there. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we will wait and see what happens. And, like I said, guys, if you guys are on Sprint, Boost or Virgin, you guys will have to get new phone. You obviously, can see mobile is G is GSM. You guys will have to get buy. You guys, you guys will have to buy new phones. And 5G might be a bit more expensive than 4G. The guys are not gonna get 5G service for 25 dollars a month. The guys are not gonna get 5G service for no. There's no way in hell. There's no way. There's no way in hell that you guys gonna get 5G service for 25 dollars a month in prepaid. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking more. So, um, yeah, Team Mobile Prime is a boost, sprint, and brazen, and that's pretty just they will survive the uh, merger. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Do you guys think jobs will get lost? I, think, I do think jobs will be lost, obviously, because I think sprint, uh, I think jobs will be lost. Obviously, people will get, people will, will be losing jobs. Stores are probably going to shut down. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen to the stores. I don't know if the stores are going, are, going, are going to get converted into uh, new stores or whatever. I don't know how this is gonna play out. Only thing that we can do right now is guys, let's just wait and see. So we can just wait and see right now. And um, yeah, what are you guys thoughts about this? And then you guys think that the merger will go through? Uh, personally, uh, I don't know. Um, because they've been saying that uh, they've been. Talking about a sprint team on merger for like for, for like six fucking years now. Uh, they've been talking about sprint team on sprint team on merger for like six years now, and it might happen soon. Who knows? What do you guys think about this? And um, what credit do you guys have? And what phone do you have? And yeah. So uh. Yeah, that's all pretty much it there, guys. It's probably a long as video, but hey, I'm just getting, I'm just getting, I'm just getting guys my thousand pins on it. Uh, what, what do you guys, what do you guys think about this and uh, whatnot? So, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It blessed me out a lot. Peace, rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. Yo, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.